Hey everyone, Lindsay here with the Lead Quizzes, and today I want to go over a quick walkthrough of the Lead Quizzes software. So after you're done uh, watching these videos, you're going to see a screen very similar to what you're seeing now, although you're not going to have these quizzes already created, and you're going to create your very own quiz. So to do that, you'll go to Create New Quiz, and you can either start a new quiz or select from a template. The steps are the same, whether you start a new quiz or select from a template. But with a template, all of the fields are already going to be filled in. So all of the questions, all of the outcomes, all of the answers, everything is going to be done for you. We do have different industries you can choose from right here at the top. Let's go ahead and select this one. And you can always see a preview of the quiz before you decide to use it. You're first going to be taken to the configure page. Now this is the start page of your quiz. So you'll see with the template, it's already filled in. You have your quiz name, quiz image, which you can change um, just by clicking or dragging and uh, dropping. Your quiz title, which as you can see right over here. Now this is a live preview of the quiz. So you can see what the quiz actually looks like. Your quiz description. Call to action label, which you can customize. Social sharing, so people can actually share your quiz with a click of the button on uh, Facebook or Twitter, as well as a start page, which you can have this enabled or disabled. So if you didn't want people to see a start page, you just want to jump right into the quiz questions, then you can go ahead and turn off that start page. You can also connect your integrations, which you're going to um, connect to the quizzes beforehand over in the integration section here. Once you're done, you will go over to the outcome section. With the outcomes, you're going to have a live preview as well. Just click right over here to see what it looks like. You have the headline. Those are the social share buttons we were talking about just a moment ago. And then the actual text here in the outcome. And you can go ahead and customize that as you see fit. Depending upon your plan level, we also have a redirect URL. So with the redirect URL, People are actually going to see your page that you decide to enter in first instead of seeing the lead quizzes outcome. They're not going to see the lead quizzes outcome that you created in here because they're going to go straight over to a URL. Next, the questions. Now, each question's answers are mapped to one of those outcomes that you just saw. So if you click on a question or if you create a question, you'll be able to enter in the question text type of answers you want, so either text answers or image answers, which you can go ahead and change that there. You can go ahead and add in answers. Now you see this little green check over here. That's actually the outcome that that answer maps to. And then you can always add additional answers if you want. You can delete them. You can go ahead and rearrange. And same thing with your questions. You can go ahead and rearrange those at any time. Next, we'll take you over to the lead section. So this is how you're going to capture leads on your quiz. Two ways of doing this. You can do it through the lead capture form, which you are seeing right here. This is fully customizable, so you will go ahead and customize the headline right here, your headline description, the call to action label, which you'll see right over here, where you'd like this information to be collected, either before or after the quiz. If you want people to be able to skip this option, which if you enable skip and they'll have this little option, they can skip the step. And then also the form fields that you're collecting. You can go ahead and add in a pixel, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, Bing, and add in your own custom privacy policy. Now the second option is the Facebook opt-in. Facebook opt-in, if they take the quiz on Facebook, and click connect with Facebook, then the information you're going to collect is their name and email that they use with Facebook. With this, you can also add in a custom headline and a headline description. Next, going over to the offer, this is absolutely optional. So what this will do is it'll show an offer at the start of the quiz. So we can say, this is my offer. It's great. And then buy. And you can see a live preview of what that offer actually looks like right here. And that's going to display right above the outcomes when somebody goes ahead and takes your quiz. Now, again, this is optional if you want to do that or not. And this button here will link to whatever URL you put in the uh, offer builder. We have three different versions you can do for that offer. You can do the text offer with a call to action, promotional banner image. So you can actually upload an image that people will click on. 
and the promotional banner with a headline and a call to action. So you would have an image, a call to action button, and also a headline describing what it is. Next, we have customize and review. Depending upon your plan, you're going to be able to do this. You can actually change the font, you can change the font color, and change the background color, which the background you'll be able to see by clicking start here. So that changes. You can also go ahead and change that button color. So you can go ahead and customize it to whatever your, your brand colors are. If you ever decide you do not like those, you can always restore the default right over here. Another thing you can do is when somebody shares the quiz, you can direct them to a different URL that they're going to be sharing versus the quiz.leadquizzes one. And you can do that right over here. Once you're done, you hit publish quiz. Here you can see a preview of the variation before it actually goes live. This is what that URL is going to be right here. So we actually go ahead and copy that and paste it. Then you can see what the quiz actually looks like. So this is what our quiz looks like. Someone goes ahead and clicks through the entire quiz. They'll be taken to a page like this where they can opt in with their information. Hit get my results. And then there they have it. Those are the results they would see. So that's what your quiz would actually look like. And if you hit publish here, after you publish, you'll be directed to your dashboard and you can actually see how that quiz is going to be performing. So you'll be able to see how many views, how many leads, what the conversion rate, you have the offer enabled, how many people are clicking on it, and how many people are sharing. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can actually integrate your quiz with your email software that you are using or how you can get those quiz leads information. So make sure you watch the next video. It's going to be coming up here in just a minute.